Hi there, and welcome to Air Traffic Controller. Air Traffic Controller is a needy module that will show a destination, a plane, and an arrival. Or, well, not necessarily destination and arrival, but it will show you a name that uh, links to one of these tables, and then it will show you a name in the same color, which links to the first table. For example, we have PHX as the table number here to PDX. So we find PHX, which is here. We go to PDX, we find it in the table, and we have an arrival state. This means that we change the white plane to be downwards because PDX is the arrival. So cruising, flat, upwards is departure, and then down is arrival. So we're arriving at PDX. We need to do this three times, making sure the colors sync. So Denver table, MIA then is a departure. So the green plane is up. And lastly, we have TPA in blue. We have M. DW, which is a departure, so the plane goes up. If it's not on the table, if you look at the first here on Phoenix, for example, and PDX is not on the table, it would remain cruising because it's not the uh, airport we're stopping at. The important part is to match the colors, so white, white, white all needs to go together. This is all one line, but the information is jumbled. So you need as a diffuser, you should read it, you know, PHX to PDX, like white, white, and then toggle the white plane accordingly to your expert. We'll wait for another one. There are quite a few airports, so knowing where they are in the table will make it a little easier to find. Boston in green. FLL. FLL is not on the table, so green plane remains cruising. HNL to Denver. Denver is an arrival, so the plane goes down as it's arriving. DC to... You can find DC. Here we are. DCA. We are landing at BWI, which is not on the table. So, we will remain cruising. I'm stating a departure arrival a lot just because that's how it's structured, but it's not. Uh, the left column here is the table that you're looking at, and then the right, the right um, name, not destination, will tell you whether it's a departure, a cruising, or an arrival, based on uh, the name in the table. Air traffic controller is a very serious job because if you're not paying attention, you, know, you direct the wrong plane or you mess up the colors, people are going to go to the wrong place or, you know, collide in midair or something like that. TPA, AWR is a departure, so up. ATL, which is Atlanta, I'd like to say. ATL. Hello, there we are, first one. 2LGA is not on the list, so blue plane is static. IAH is Houston. We have IAD, IAH. 2MDW is not on the list, so yellow plane remains cruising. So, departure, cruising. Cruising. Make sure these colors go together. Red, 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 blue, 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 yellow, yellow, yellow. We'll do one more example after this, and I think we get the point of it. I like to reset them to the cruising every time, just because that's a good neutral state, just in case it isn't on the module. And it's not too hard to cycle either way, so... This one's almost lined up. JFK, which is here, to Boston is a departure from Boston, EWR, SFO is a departure, and DTW, not DFW, DTW. Some of these do sound similar, but they're not quite the same. 
and Atlanta is not on the list, so we continue. We will not be landing at Atlanta one way or the other. That's really about it for this module. Um, once you understand how the information fits together and how the tables are supposed to be read, the table then seeing if it's a departure arrival or if it's not on the table of a new cruise, and how the planes are supposed to be set, not too hard of a module. Ah. Uh, well, with that in mind, thank you for watching, and now you understand how to defuse an expert air traffic controller. Let's do this one as we solve it and then fade out. DTW to LAS is an arrival. IAH. Here. Plant is not on the list. IAH. CLT is an arrival. 